I'm James with Yeti Ice Blasting, and here in Cincinnati, Ohio, there's parts of the city that are really seeing a resurgence, people moving uh, all over and, and actually taking real care of these, of these old buildings. And one of the challenges with that, of course, is the masonry. Traditional masonry restoration techniques involve a lot of chemicals and or water. And what that means is that you generate a lot of sludge and there's legal and environmental concerns depending on where you are. In an application like this where we're looking to restore a historic building and very old, over 100 year old brick, actually there's a lot of very detailed work that's important to get right. It's easy to get it wrong by, by using an abrasive technique sand blasting, soda blasting, or, or by using a, a lot of water pressure. And so ice blasting is really kind of the dream in an application like this, where there's no moisture. Brick will absorb water kind of like a sponge, and you don't want that, and you certainly, once it's clean, don't want to seal that in. What dry ice blasting does is three things. It uses an impact, just like any other measure would, but, but then it uses cold, and that cold actually freezes and embrittles the adherent on the substrate. So there's something on there, in this case, graffiti, and some plaster that wanted to come off without going too deep. So we embrittle that and the last part is we expand. The, the ice itself, when it's hit onto the substrate, expands 800 times and releases that adherent from the surface. And that's what wraps up the cleaning that dry ice blasting can achieve in a safe, detailed, non-abrasive way.